Hello, this is another video of Blue Slab, and this topic is the immune system and the disease's guide to world domination. Like, it's basically like this. Imagine a super fatal disease with a 100% chance of death. How much do you think it would spread? It would be something like this. Very quick containment, so as much as little people die. But what happened if this happened? Reset it. And let's see what happens. As you could see, it was able to spread much more because there wasn't really a big threat, so we didn't really need quarantine much. Same goes with social distancing. What is this? In a fatal disease, there would be lots of social distancing with barely any quarantine with huge amounts of quarantine too because as soon as we find a death we immediately start social distancing quarantine and you know all those stuff and that includes all diseases because the less because most diseases require co close contact which means they can't spread with, you know, they, without dating, you know, s romantic stuff, sharing a drink, etc. And now let's go back. And now let's go to immune system. Look, the immune system has two types of blood cells. I'll just show them. In a website. Now I recently found, found sketch.io. Which is pretty great in pretty much any way. If you're looking for something to draw. Yeah. Let's do the drawing and, um,. Something like this. Yeah, it's cool. It's basically stuff like that. So, um, there are phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes are phagocytes are the Pac-Mans, if you're asking me. They're let's say this is a germ, then this is a phagocyte trying to eat a germ. That's a fact.
website and that is a germ. But let's go into the real, real stuff. All germs have something called antigens. And there is something to fit the antigen called an antibody, which is basically like a lock in a key. This is an antibody shot by one of the lymphocytes, the second kind of, you know, blood, white blood cell. Now, they're basically, shh, they're, they're the ones that call the cells that shoot antibodies and the ones that shoot antibodies. While the phagocytes are just Pac-Mans. Now, there are two types. Macro, macrophages, hmm? and also, mm, yeah, that's. So, um, in the lymphocytes, there are I don't see a difference. I use grammar, that's it. There are And T cell. Now the B cells shoot the antibodies, while T cells, now they train the immune system basically and carve the B cells which shoot the antibodies. So, it's basically like this. To explain it in a time, we'll have to do something fun. Now, um, delete all this. Now, this is... You know, it's, I mean, if it's opening his mouth, then it has to be a phallocyte. This is a germ. This is an antibody, which, which was shot by a B cell over here, which is holding a gun, which has antibody bullets. Mm -hmm. That guy's like, you don't, you don't belong here. That guy too. <laughs> and this guy's like, this T cell is like, Germ! Germs. That guy's like that. Okay, this guy might be opening his mouth too. Germs. That's what he's doing. So the the whole immune system works like this. First, macro neutrophils come into the site and gobble up germs. They just die right away after they eat a single germ. 
And then the macro phages come, which also engulf germs. They can eat 100 per cell, so they would pro probably be enough to defeat the germs. Also, and the neutrophils are the most abundant white blood cells. And if that's not enough, then the dendritic cell alerts T cells and the T cell tells B cells to activate, and then the B cell shoots antibodies like crazy with that gun. Not really good, but anyways. And then the antibodies signal the germs that they caught, and they also do something called neutralization, where it blocks the binding sites of germs, which in turn cause the germs not to get inside cells. But there's also a cell called a natural killer cell, which basically kills germs. Any cells that have the disease, you know, you know what I mean, right? Now, this guy is having this sword over here to kill any intruder. We a suspicious germ. You know what I mean, right? You know. Anyways, I'm going to erase this. <laughs> you know what? I did not expect that. Anyways, so now back to this. Now back to the disease simulation. Now imagine a, a cold or a disease where there's a very high chance of killing you and it's very contagious. And the virus is new. So there's no vaccine or drug to stop or weaken the virus. So what would happen? No no I think that Okay, come on. Now as soon as there is a germ as soon as you know As soon as there is a death, people try to find a vaccine or a drug to weaken or kill the pathogen. So that is why colds are so, you know, non-killable. Like, they don't kill much. They are, can't kill people. That's a bad frame rate. Right? But it's still only animated. What frame rate? 30 is enough. Wow. Even if it's 30, it's still well animated. Anyways. Would you want a disease which is super deadly? Or would you want a disease... Would you imagine you were a disease which wants to spread all over the world? Would you, you know?
Would you rather be a deadly disease or would you rather be a non-deadly disease? I'd rather if you want to spread all over the world. It's kind of an obvious answer. You would obviously want to be a very deadly disease. Obviously. But according to what I just said, you should actually probably be a weak, you know, not so deadly kind of disease. Since you want, you know, it's not that you're, you're not trying to get, you're not trying to cure as much people, you're just trying to spread as much. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Anyways. If you want to draw with this awesome drawing website, then try to go to sketch.io slash sketchpad. I didn't download the app because it's not free. But if you want to, you could download it and also if you log into this into our you know, if you sign up, then you get, you have the availability to upload, if have permission, if the video is right, and also edit the videos that we made, if it is approved. Now... If it is approved, then it would go on to show for other people. What is that cow doing? Do you know what I'm looking for? A bat. A bat was the first one to spread the coronavirus. Is the one that spread the coronavirus to humans. Which bats spread almost every disease that I know, really. So it's an obvious answer. But the best diseases are like Corona. I mean, malaria, which are, which spread really well because they can either live for dead people for so long. Anthrax is very long. You know, very long, that's it. Why up? <coughs> Most diseases can only, most viruses can pro only stay for a few days, if not hours. And some diseases travel by mosquitoes, especially if you're living in Africa. Those diseases can be really deadly because Africa is really poor and so almost no money to afford for a vaccine or, you know. Plus, hot temperatures are 
very good for mosquitoes. So if you are a disease and you want to spread a lot, be like anthrax or malaria. And bye.